What's going on everybody? This is Team BZ and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I have something special and I have a proposition to tell you. You see, I'm not, I'm not in something usual. I'm in a world. But I'm going to turn around and you're going to see some pretty awesome stuff. Well, I think it's awesome. Because here we go. Broken portal. Yeah, this is my old, oh, 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 gosh, what's going on here? Oh, no. Come on, stop it. Okay, I think that's good. This is my old survival world, and it's really cool. Like, I, I talked about this one time in the... I think in the first episode of my survival series, um, yeah, um, I said I had this world and it got corrupted, so I couldn't play on it anymore and I was really sad. And as you can see here, it's not corrupted anymore and I'm not really sure how. I was scrolling through my world yesterday, you know, I was just clearing out some ones that I didn't really need to even have. Mm, yeah, delete, just clear through your stuff, delete some world, you know, take out the trash. Um, and so I decided that I was going to try it one last time. Because usually when I tried it before, it would just say downloading terrain for like 15 minutes and then the game would crash. But now, and then one time I got to load, but it was only like this one chunk here and everything else was void. But now it seems to be absolutely perfect the way I left it with tons of creeper holes and botch jobs in random whirlpools it's it's really awesome and it's really bringing back some memories I haven't been able to play on this world for like a year I think 1.1.4 this world became corrupt for some random reason and I wasn't able to play on it but now it seems to be awesome and perfect so um I'm going to give you a little world tour, and then I'm going to tell you what my proposition is once I finish. So make sure you stick around for that. Um, you probably won't really want... I want you to... If you're going to leave, if you're going to go along with this proposition and answer my question, I do actually want you to watch the tour so you know what you are uh, getting into. So, um, as you can see here, I have really good stuff. Yeah. This is like my world where I would have tons of great stuff. Oh wait. Maybe it was the fishing update. I don't know when... I think it was. Maybe it wasn't. It probably wasn't a year. Seems like that long though. I haven't been able to play on it for so long. But I, should, I shouldn't rush in. I should go back outside. Um, this is my house. I built it. Well, this is where it all started. Over here actually. I kind of like made it a little monument slash museum thing. I don't fill in my creeper holes for some reason. I guess I like to leave the battle scars of the landscape. But this is the site of Mr. Blocky 64's original home. And keep in mind, I, I didn't have any videos on this. This is just an old thing I did in single player. This was a failed attempt at a mob system. Um, yeah. Uh, Zach one day explained to me what a mob, like, told me what a mob system was. Like, you build something really high up, and the mobs would spawn and fall down and die, and you'd get all the loot. Um, so I, I, I basically did just that. I built a giant tower, and I built a little platform. Not, no water or anything up in the sky. And one day I went up there, and I'm like, nothing's come, nothing's happened. So I went up there, and I watched it at night, and mobs did spawn, but none of them walked in. So I'm like, oh, I messed it up. And I had a bed here, but I took it out because I'm a cheapskate and I wanted a cheapskate and I wanted to keep my bed. I have more furnaces. I never put in a floor here. And this is this led down to the mine shaft. Um, yeah, just a cave. That's where I got my first resources. And I think maybe when I was two weeks into this world, I'm like, this house sucks. It does suck. It's literally square of wood. There isn't even a window. There's just a skylight and there's random cobblestone pieces. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And I have a little 
infinite water source here. I'll get to this in a second. Um, over here, I had a a farm, so I just when they grew, I just break these, and the water would get rid of them. I kind of cleaned it up, um, and so then came the idea that I was going to build my house inside of the mountain here, inside of this huge mountain. And so it was really cool. And so I started with this. And so this floor was, I think it was, it was originally like stone. And so it's kind of a, no, it wasn't stone. I think it was all cobble. Yeah, it was cobble. And so one day an enderman decided to teleport in here and leave a block of grass. And so I decided that, and I didn't have silk touch at that point, so I'm like, okay, cool, free glass, grass. So I have a lawn, and I like the lawn, actually. And I also have a beacon from when I fought the wither. It's just a normal speed beacon. And then I have a cow, because at one point, there weren't many cows left in my, well, there weren't many cows left for a very long distance, so I traveled, I think, 600 blocks and brought them here before leads were in the game, so I had to use wheat. It took like two hours, I think, just to get two cows. And I have a wall of blocks, and it says I am a very rich person on them. And so then we go upstairs. This is the second room I built. Uh, this is just a, like a looking area, so you can see the entrance. And there's a jukebox here, but I moved it outside for what I was working on in there. This is like the main bedroom area. I have another window outside. I have my dragon egg encased in there. Paintings all around the walls. Got a lamp, and then my beacon continues up. This is my bed area. Oh, here's my jukebox. Hold on, I'm gonna see how loud that is. Okay, let me turn that down. I'll have a little bit of music going, I guess. Yeah, I have a cat in there. Um, anvil. And this is my enchanting room, along with... One of the other cows, and here's a doggy. Uh, sure, he'll come along the light. He'll come along the tour with us. This was a little nether incinerator room. It's just so I could burn items. Uh, but I think it lit something on fire, and so that's why I took everything out. Or no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had, I had, yeah, I had more than one dog, and I remember one of them jumped into the fire and killed himself. So that's why. This room's kind of out of commission. Now, this is a room that I was very proud of. This is my storage room. And I thought the storage room was really awesome at the time. I have, I have a cool little design with mossy cobblestone and cobblestone in the floor. And I labeled all my chests, and I have a big wall of furnaces here. And an ender chest. So I have weapons. So I have a ton of bows for mobs and skeletons. And then I have helmets and a bunch of diamond swords. Oh, there's my amazing pickaxe. Uh, it's not very amazing. And fire protection boots. I don't even have feather falling ones on. They're just protection. Food and ingredients. Just a lot of rotten flesh. Um, you get a lot of it over time. Uh, tools. Uh, this, again, I kind of... I'm not a very organized person. So usually you'll find stuff that doesn't belong. Like this random water bottle and... A bunch of random blocks. Hello. Uh, and then we have, this was cobble, I don't know where the, this is like cobble and stone items, or basically stuff you break with the pickaxe. Uh, I don't know where the sign went though. That one's actually good. That one's a good label. Hello, you're on top of the chest. Wood blocks and items, not tools. Again, yeah, there's some wood in here and not, nothing really that's in place. Uh, here's my ender chest. We got diamonds. Let's look at this map. Oh, this is the old map. Wait, wait, no, no. I'm thinking in creative mode, it just fills itself in, but see our island. I'm, try I'm pointing at the screen like you can see it. No, uh, like where our little dude cursor is. That's where our whole area is. There's a lot of desert around here. And we have some diamonds and potions and stuff. A miscellaneous. This is basically the chest, like, run inside, dump every random thing you have in there, and then sort it later. Um, 
kind of the basis of the idea of the quick drop chest in my new survival LP. Uh, and my valuables. I actually do have some pretty good valuables. We'll listen to this music disc next. 20 diamonds. I was very proud of that. <laughs> it was funny. I was in school one day. And, or no, no, yeah. And a lot of my friends, they had just gotten into the game and stuff. And they're like, dude, last night I found diamonds. And everyone's like, whoa, how many? And they're like, five. I'm like, dude, that's a lot. And then I come in being all super cool, like, pfft. Five is nothing. And I'm like, I have a chest of 20 diamonds. They didn't believe me, of course, but... Yeah. That's that. 61 gold. And redstone. Lots of redstone. Okay, so that's the storage room. Let's put install. Okay, now up here... I don't like this cobblestone, by the way. I have... I, this used to be like a whole painting room. I don't know why the painting's left here, though. To be honest. Um, then we have a little potion dispenser booth if you want to run in. Uh, we have these stronger, which would dispense a a strength potion, and live longer would dispense a regen or a health potion. I kind of ripped that off of Etho. He made one of these in his LP world as well. I think his sayings were different though, but I like my sayings. Be stronger, live longer. Um, and so now we go up to the top of these mountains, and, uh, I guess sometimes along the world you'll see these little, uh, lamps with buttons. This was just, like, my own little target practice. Once, uh, once wooden buttons were implemented, I set these up all over. Oh, where are you? Boom! Boom! Wrecked. And so, let's see if we can get these. Come on. There we go. Yes. Nice. And here's where my beacon is coming up from. I really like this, like, closed, hungover roof. I think there's a villager in here. Is there a villager in here? There is. Let's see. He's in there. I can't access him, though. Um, yeah. There's a villager. I guess I uh, healed one. I did a lot of stuff once it was implemented. Um, this is a ladder down to an area that we'll we'll see when we go down there. Um, and then this is my bridge. This is like this was like my most my proudest building. This is like when I first got Minecraft and I built this. It's not really when I first got it. I had another world, that, but I ended up like cheating on it and I felt bad about it. And I can't say I didn't cheat on this world either. <laughs> I cheated kind of a lot. I think I cheated in a wither, but that was it. It's kind of pretty bad. Uh, but everything else is pretty legit. I'll take some food. Um... So back up here. So I built this bridge, and at the time I thought it was really awesome. It's, I call it a tube bridge, because it's like a circular tube. And it basically, I had this idea one day that I wanted more space, so I'm gonna connect this to the other mountain. And so, and so why I didn't just build a normal bridge, I thought it would be really cool if it looked like it went inside the mountain. And so that was the whole premise of this tube bridge. And so if you go through here, it's pretty awesome. We'll jump down the ladder. And so yeah, I went to this bridge and so I decided we're gonna go down so we have more room. And so we have stairs here and then this awesome secret, kind of like secret underground base with another ender chest. Now what is this? What is this ugly contraption here? This was a failed attempt at a spiral piston door. I am very bad at redstone. So, I tried, I was trying to build this, I was following how someone else built it, and it didn't work, so I got really angry, so I decided to tear it out. So yeah, there's like a cool potion room in here, but I got rid of it. Maybe I'll build that in another day. And this is a, another small auto farm. Just a simple one. 
Um, we have another infinite water source and a cool little swimming pool. And that up there I'll explain um, to mine. Uh, that you go down there. There's a mine shaft. We'll, we'll visit there. Yeah, we'll go in there right now. Okay, so if you go that down that way, there's like a cool ravine with a mine shaft in it. If we go this way, I remember what was that way. I was playing with TNT mine carts over there, and then there's just more cavage. Go, doggy, go. Move, you stupid mutt. Whatever. I don't want to leave him in the cave or else I'll never find him again. Alright, come on. Okay. Look, my cart got sent back up. Oh, I know why. That's kind of a stupid design by me. I don't even think this needs to be here. Yeah, why do we even have double redstone there? Pfft. That's kind of a stupid noob thing, because now the minecart goes back up. So you have to walk up. But that was that little mining area. So that was pretty cool. And now we have sheep. And so I want to have a cool wall of colored sheep. And so I decided to make it so if anyone decided to support me, and I was like, hey, good job. This is kind of like a friend, small friend thing. I would give them a little sheep. And so I don't remember who this was. I think this might be one of my, my cousins or something. Mr. Sheep, the party sheep. And then Zach. I don't have a sheep in there for him. So I just ask him what color sheep they want. And then I have... Goldie1400, that's actually Jack the Cake's old account, my friend Jack. And now here we have the new and improved storage room that is much awesomer, much more cool than the last one. And so, I guess the story with this was I decided that I was going to build a cooler storage room than the one up there. And I wanted one that looked better. And I also wanted storage down here. So that's what this is. This is the miscellaneous chest. These are valuables, so that's miscellaneous as well. Uh, weapons and armor and redstone, and then we have cobblestone and wood. And then in the water, little water streams here, there are crafting tables and there's glowstone at the top and bottom. So I really like that, and I really love this room. It's pretty sweet. And now we have the Zen Garden. And also, <laughs> I want to point out, I put ores in the wall to make it look more like a cave. I'm not sure why that's there. I guess to be symmetrical or something. And then we have mossy cobblestone to give it a cool, like, cave look. And then we have the zen garden. This is like a cool little relaxing garden. Nothing automatic here, but we have some sugar cane, melons, and looks like we got carrots, potatoes. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And that is, looks like this is the whole underground area. Oh my gosh, Zach's calling. Hold on. Okay, yeah. I'm back. Um, so, we'll get to this last, because this is like my favorite part. Um, so, over here we have this giant lake. It's really cool. Um, uh, that was a failed water slide attempt over there. Um, I also died like all the sheep in my area. And then we have another one of the target practice. Um, and then we have a little hidden area just like a little set stuff here and then if you go up here oh oh I don't remember this <laughs> oh oh I do remember this now it's a secret is a hidden secret area hidden hidden secret area if that doesn't make much sense uh, but yeah I guess I think I was gonna put a snow farm in here wow I totally forgot about this room because it's a secret uh, but yeah I guess there's a secret room that I just rediscovered. And then it leads back up to the top here. I think we can make that. Yep. Okay. So if we head over here. Um, 
So, uh, when I talked about the sheep area earlier, um, I had to get a way to get them into the cave, and there wasn't, and I couldn't get them down the ladder because the ladder wasn't big enough, and I didn't feel like digging down there. So what I did is I dug into the mountain over here. Well, actually, I just, I found the coordinates of where this was, and then I just dug up. And then I kind of dug out a room early later on. But I don't think I'm going to put anything in here. This is just an area where I could bring the sheep in. And then I could just drop them into the pool safely. Safely. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> safely. <laughs> Why is that? That's not funny. Be quiet. Be quiet. That's not funny. I don't even know why you're laughing. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here's another one. Alright. Yeah, interruptions. What can you do when you have family? But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Greatest sentence ever. So now, we have my favorite part of the world. I think I named this after a town in Pokemon. It's Vanavale Town. I think it was in black and white, too. And so, we'll just come up we're gonna do a little parkour action. We have little street lamps. Not real street lamps. I kind of like base this around like this inside the mountain type of thing, but also with like a boardwalk. So you saw out oh, here we have all the support pillars and stuff. I think I'm. I think I was putting another building in here. I haven't done that though. I think it was, that's what I was up to when it corrupted. So I the first thing I built here is a little shop, and so it comes in here, and then you can go down the ladder. We have storage, and what I was planning on doing was populating this with villagers. And that's why I tried to get all my villagers back. Not all of them, I just tried to get them back in. Or, save them, yeah. And so here we have a little house. It's kind of a skew right there, it should be lined up, but whatever. Uh, I think this is the best looking house here. And then we go up here, we got a little, kind of a sofa and a nice view. And some coal. Why not? And then we have a tiny house. I wouldn't even call this a house, really. These are crafting tables here. Uh, I guess it could be a little sleeping hut or something. I don't know. What do we got? Oh, porta potty. <laughs> this is like the derbiest thing ever. So, if you want to open this automatically, you can press this so everyone can see you taking a load. And then you can open up. I guess can, it's like the derbiest thing ever. Now, this is a really cool building. This is like my favorite part of this whole town. This is the library. So, I went for like a cool futuristic look with the courts. Let me get a better view. A cool futuristic view with the courts and the stained clay. And so, we're coming here. We got some cool carpet design. This is carpet, right? Yes, it is. And we got bookshelves and a cool design here and here. So we come on up here. This is kind of just another smaller room. With more books. What is this? Oh! Why don't we read this? The founding of Vanaville Town. A long time ago, a young man. This is like the story of my world. Uh, a young man named Mr. Block of 64 woke up on this world. He gathered resources and built a small house with a failed mob system and a dirt floor. Eventually, he decided that he wanted to live a much more nice, in a much more nice environment. So he decided that he would live in his mountain across from his house. He dug out a small entrance with a nice lawn in it and then made an upper floor with a storage and enchantment table and much, much more. Then he decided that he wanted a secret base underground that would have a poison, a poison, this should be potion, potion room and hall of sheep and a garden. So he made a beautiful bridge that connected the two mountains together. So we made a beautiful bridge that connected the mountains together. 
He defeated the Wither and made a beacon of light that made him stronger and always helped him to find his way back home. Then he finally decided that people should live in this beautiful environment and raise families and live in peace forever. So Blocky made a village that took full advantage of the beautiful landscape and thus Vanneville Town was born. It's a pretty good history lesson right here. So we'll climb up here. And then this is like a small little cafe, I guess reading area or meeting place, I guess. It's got tables. It's really cool, the mountain hangs over it. I really like that. We have a little glowstone in the walls. And this like little modern table design. It's just a piece of glass and then carpet on top. So we'll come down here. And then we'll get to the part of the boardwalk that I did not finish. And I think there's one more thing. That I have to show you. Ow. So we'll just run through here. Um, we're not going in the nether. I don't feel like it. I don't think there's anything cool in there anyway. I don't think I built anything in there. I didn't, now that I think of it. Go away. Yeah, that looting though. Okay, so... I don't know where the exit is, so we're just gonna go this way. We go along the mount- ow! We go along the mountainside here. I guess one day is exploring my land, which really needs to be lit up. And I found a opening here. And there's a mob spawner. And so one day Zach- stupid Skype- one day Zach was like, turn that into a mob farm. And so I think he helped me, like, yeah, we were on- we were on Skype and he showed me how to do it built it and it's kind of a simple one I will I have put that piston in there so hey come on down doggy get out of there doggy doggy come on oh my doggy to teleport teleport doggy teleport to me doggy doggy no doggy no Stupid Skype, shut up. I need to fix that. Oh, okay. Alright, so now we'll just close that. And then you just grab a kill sword once the fire stops. Oh, he's in there. Oh. Okay. Well, it's broken, I guess. It's not supposed to kill them. Supposed to work as an XP farm. And so we'll head down this way. And then we'll go back up. So that is pretty much everything in this world. And so I guess now I'm going to talk about the proposition that I that I spoke of at the beginning of this video. So, as you can see, we have a cool world with lots of cool landscape and stuff, and we have tons of resources to build with. So my question is, is do you want to see sort of a let's play on this series to replace the other one, which I don't, I'm not a fan of this thing. My, I think our best thing is if we want to have cool buildings or you can completely take them. So basically, here's the choice. We forget about this world. That's choice A. We forget about this world and we... We just move on with the uh, jungle, jungle LP, or we kind of split it up and we work in this one as well as the old one, mm. or we work in this, this one as well as the jungle LP, or we drop the jungle LP and continue working in this one. So I'm gonna have a straw poll uh, in the description. So if you want to vote. On what your ob on what you what you want to happen, uh, make sure please go into that straw poll. If you're viewing this, you're a normal, you're a teammate, you're a normal watcher and subscriber. Um, please check out that straw poll and give an answer. You see, we're getting we're getting good views. We're getting like average, I think, 30 views a video, which I'm happy about. So, 
I think we should have at least 10 votes. If you're asking me. 40 subscribers, 30 views, average videos, 10 votes. Come on, let's see it. And we're also we're also close to 50 subscribers, so I want you guys to thank you all for that. And so I think we're about done here. Remember, look at the straw poll. Uh, choices. Do you want? Do you want to forget about this and just move on with the jungle? Do you want to split it up, do some of this and some of that, or do you want to forget jungle and work on this? You. I'll give it. I guess three days until I take a look, and we will see what you guys want. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, I'd totally appreciate it if you slam, tickle that like button. I really don't care about how many likes, the like goal. So, just tickle it, however much you want. Tell your friends to tickle it, tell your mom to tickle it, tell your dad to tickle it, tell your brother to tickle it, tell your dog, cat, cow, tell your zebra to tickle it. So, We'll see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe, become a teammate today, and be notified when more awesome content like this video. Thank you guys all for watching, and as always, hasta la vista.